Ay. I love fall. Oh, oh, I love Halloween though too. Y'all are just jumping right to Christmas and I, I don't like it. I like Halloween, I like Thanksgiving. Christmas is fantastic, but let's give a little love where it's due, okay? So yeah, fall is in full swing. It's been getting settled. Definitely wanna, wanna get one of those goats one day from uh, the neighbor, not yet. Uh, I was gonna get a new puppy. Puppy was an awesome opportunity, but just not right with soccer and everything still moving and going, so. But one thing we could add right now uh, was definitely going to be uh, a little bit of help for her over there, Loretta, the chicken, with getting some more chicks. It's the perfect time right now in fall. They're about four weeks old right now, so by the time that we hit spring, uh, they should be ready to lay eggs, which has been fantastic because our girl Loretta here, she's been doing uh, an amazing job giving us eggs and nothing better than having a cage-free chicken. Well, she's in a cage right now because we keep her in the cage at night, but we let her out during the day because we do have foxes and there are hawks that have been uh, kind of bugging her. So definitely keep her away at night. But uh, during the day, she's out and about roaming, but it's been fantastic having eggs, you know. See, look at that. It's just, it's so awesome that you can come out here and get an egg. Turn around and go eat it. Uh, we wanted to add to her, add to her squad, add to the chicken squad, get a couple more chicks, start them on the cycle so they're ready for spring to lay us some more eggs, and then I will go from there. But uh, yeah, these are the new chicks. Oh, I'm feeling my pajamas. I need your help. What? A dog crate? Yeah. Okay. So we gotta put all those little. Little chicks in there. Oh, the oh! All right, dog cage is put together. That hey, was easy. Yeah, we already have all the chicken food. Do you remember when we first got her? We were gonna get chicks a while ago. That never happened. So we have all the stuff ready for the the little chicks, but I think we, we gotta open like this food. side gate. Hopefully. I mean, we won't know for a while what hens we have that will lay eggs. Uh, could have got a rooster in there, I don't know. It's hard to tell, you can never tell until they start producing their feathers and stuff. See what we get, I guess. Hopefully they're hens and uh, we get some good egg producers. Start laying some eggs. I might go get the bigger dog cage, I don't know. Seems kind of small. I don't like the whole like cage chicken thing. That's why we get our own chickens to get our own eggs because we like the cage free stuff. But I don't want them to be too close. But we'll see, maybe maybe we'll switch it, maybe we won't. So, oh, you hear that? You know what that sound is? Sound of America. All right, be careful because they jump. And they jump. Fun part about this is naming all the chickens now too and you remembering what you need. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, okay, there's six. Mm. I feel bad. Welcome home, guys. Come on. They're all staying in the box. <gasps> oh my God, Mike. What are you doing? <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's Look at how tiny and cute. Mm -hmm. This guy's cool. This gray one's really awesome. And I think these two are Americanas back here. And they lay like, a, it's called the Easter egg. It's like a rainbow color egg. You never, well, not the egg itself, but you get rainbow colors from them. You never know what color it's gonna be and when. This is the new chick fam. Chickies. I wanna hold one. Oh no, mm -hmm. sorry. What's up, little guy? Okay, what's your name? Good luck naming these. Okay. The gray one's gonna be Little Carbon. I know that one. I would just need the one with the black stripe and then the one with the spots on its feathers. The garage will go. The big one? 
All right, light is set. You guys are ready? How you feeling in there? It's not too warm, right? So you can always tell by the chickens if they're huddling underneath that light, they're cold. Uh -huh. So we can always come back and adjust the light if we need to. I think they're good for right now. The new babies are set up. They're ready to go. I'm gonna get a new feeder for them though, uh, because I'm not gonna steal Loretta's from her. We'll see uh, how the chickens go and definitely document it and share it with everybody. Woo! <laughs> Major jump in time right there because look at I ain't got no hair now either But leaves are falling off the trees the temps are changing So we are about four four or five weeks out from when I last filmed that and uh, now I mean the chicks are they're ready to move on They're ready to move outside. Look how big they are <gasps> Dude, When we got them, they were just like so tiny and just at only four or five weeks You could still hold like three in your hands and now they're like Full on birds. I mean, I know they're birds, but they're like full on chickens now. So we're gonna move them outside. I'm gonna keep the heat lamp, move that outside along with them. They do fine. They've been laying here just outside the heat lamp on their own. So they're gonna move outside with the coop. They're gonna go out with Loretta. Spent the uh, last few weeks actually adding on to the coop, added on this whole little section right here from that big part that she was in. So now they got seven nesting boxes in there. Plenty of room for them to, to hang out and move around, add it up the little section just so when I don't let them free range, uh, they got a little area to go in if they need to. Loretta's out here somewhere. She's full like free range chicken now. She just does her own thing. She don't listen to me. She comes back in at night. That's all we can ask for. She keeps giving us eggs and hopefully these six will do the exact same thing. So we're gonna move them out to the coop today and uh, get them settled in. Pick out there. Huh? Y'all aren't as easy to catch as you used to be. You used to be so tiny and easy to catch, huh? Now you're big. Oh, it's all right. You're gonna be the first one, though. You're gonna be the first one in the house. You get to pick your box. This is the little runt carbon. She was so tiny. She's getting big and pretty now. Cool color gray. Huh. All right, that's it. This is where they're gonna be from now on. I'm gonna leave them in here. Uh, kinda get to, to know the coop in the cage for about a week or so. And then we'll slowly let them start <coughs> free ranging out like Loretta does. Loretta's a handful to get back in the cage at first, um, so I can only imagine how six is gonna go. They deserve to be out and about. <clears throat> I'd rather have them out and about. I don't feel like they belong to be caged up and they're providing eggs for us like Loretta just provided. So I wanna give them a, a decent habitat to be raised in and let them do their thing. And as long as they keep giving us eggs and blessing us with some food, then we're good. I'll put some more hay in here, I think. Get it, tell me they can build some more nests, keep themselves warm. We'll get the light in there and get them set up. But uh, yeah, that's it, chicks are chickens now. <laughs> 